Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up a domain for your server. Now this can be a voice server or a Minecraft server and basically any type of server you can think of. And for those of you who don't know what a domain is, basically what it does is it converts the normal IP address. You might have 110.5.7.8 or something along those lines and you might even have a port on the end of it like for 25567 which is a common Minecraft port and if you have a look at that no one's ever gonna remember that that's way too confusing and basically you would rather have just some text there so that's exactly what a domain is you could get a domain like I have right here hadescraft.com and you can point it directly to that IP and or that port so then when someone types in hagecraft.com it could go directly onto your IP and port and connect you to the server now in saying that there is a bit of confusion here so I'm gonna go over it your domain is actually just the last half it is the middle which is the name you get to choose and it ends in .com, .net, .org, .info, .spaceship, who knows, there's a million of them now. And at the very start is what you define. You can change this to whatever you want. It turns out that most Minecraft servers either use MC or Hub. And if you're using like TeamSpeak, people usually do TS3 at whatever.com. So keep that in mind. But now we're on to the first step on actually completing this for yourself. And that is to head over to domain.com or any domain selling website. There's GoDaddy, there's like a million of them. But today I'm going to be working with domain.com. If you've already got one with another um, host, don't worry about it, just use it. It is very simple. This step is literally only takes a few seconds and you type in whatever domain you want. You see if it's available, like I want Yuba Spam to make sure it's there. I'll click search. We'll wait a couple seconds. Come on screen, load up. And then it will do a search to see if they're available. And if they are, look, I can buy this one $10. Uh, for .com, I could even buy .us for $6, even cheaper. Or there's some more expensive ones like .tv for $20. But pick the one you want, make sure it's available, type in whatever, like Krypton, Network, or whatever you are. Just advertise some random noobs, but there you go. You type it in there, search. If it's available, you buy it. Once you've bought it, um, you have to log in to it. But I'm going to jump onto that in a second because there's a step you have to do before actually configuring your domain there. You want to head over to another website called cloudflare.com. And this is the website I use to manage all of my DNS records, which basically means managing my domain that I purchased. And that is why it didn't matter which website you bought the domain from, because I'm not going to be doing this tutorial about the website. We're going to be managing it through Cloudflare. So go ahead and click sign up. And once you've signed up, you want to click log on. And right here, I am actually going to cut the video. I'm going to type in my details and then I'll be logged in. So that's what you have to do. Create your account and log in. Be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I created my account and after a quick email verification, I logged in and it brought me to this screen right here which says add a website. So this is where you would type in the exact website that you bought over at domain.com or GoDaddy or whatever. And mine just happens to be contentrewards.com. It's a random domain that looked pretty cool so I thought I'd buy it. There we go, we click add website. And then this should take a few seconds, but then it should open up all the configure your records. It should pull all the records from the other site. So that's why it does take a while. Okay guys, the next page is loaded up here. It is configure your records. Now I actually want you to skip this step for now because I'm going to be covering it later in the video. So just click I know it's okay on any boxes that pop up here, agree to anything, click enter a few times and then click I've added all my missing records, continue. It doesn't matter in the slightest, you just got to get off that page because we'll be going back to edit it later. And now we are on choose initial settings. This is even easier this page because you're going to leave everything on default. We're going to be using the $0 a month plan because that has all the features we need. There's no point buying their better packages because they are for websites only. Please guys, even though it says DDoS protection, all this fancy stuff, it does absolutely nothing for Minecraft servers because it uses a different type of traffic. So if you're using this for Minecraft or TeamSpeak or anything like that, just click on the free plan. There's no need to buy anything. If you are using it for your website as well, you might want to grab some DDoS protection. But if not, $0 a month plan 
click continue, it'll take you on to the next step, which is to enter these two things with your DNS provider. Now, this step you've got to focus a lot. So, what you need to do is you need to change, these are my current name servers, which were set on domain.com, where I purchased my domain, and I need to change them to these two. It is fairly simple, I'm actually going to pop up some instructions on screen for domain.com, but if you're with another provider, it should be very similar. So what you want to do is log on to wherever you bought your domain, in my case it was domain.com, once you're logged in, you want to click on Domain Manager or Domain Central in my case. Thirdly, you want to click on the domain name you want to use because you may have more than one there. And just make sure you click on the one you want to use. The button may be called Edit Domain, um, whatever, something domain. Just got to edit it, click it, do whatever, get the options up. From there, you want to find the tab or drop down box for name servers. Click on that. And now you want to edit those name servers to the two that Cloudflare, Cloudflare provided for you. For me, it was gale.ns.cloudflare.com that I had to edit the lady one to. And hands.ns.cloudflare.com. They're the two I had to edit them to. I've um, got some screenshots up on screen for you guys so you can follow along if you're with domain.com or find the appropriate options if you're on anything else. Once you've edited them, you want to click save and that can take up to 24 hours for the changes to take effect. And they, they know that basically. So they take that into account and we'll just have to click the next stage. It says, I've updated my name servers, continue. I'm actually going to cut the video and edit these name servers for myself, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I logged on to my DNS provider, which was domain.com. I went through all those settings, changed both my name servers to the ones Cloudflare told me to. I clicked to go to the next page, and basically that logs you into the site. You now have 100% functionality, and this is what you'll see every time you log into Cloudflare now. It'll have all your websites listed down here. At the moment, I only have one, obviously, which is Content Rewards. I'm on the free plan. I've got this stuff here. It has a little um, wall or just a little tip here to make sure that it, you've got the name service set to that and it's saying finishing up waiting for your name service to change because it does take up to 24 hours and then you can go over to the little cog here and change any of the previous options that we saw which the Cloudflare settings as I said leave them all default but the DNS settings that is what we're going to be going back to now and I'm going to teach you how to direct this domain to your Minecraft server so bam DNS settings, it loads up this screen. You can delete every single thing here. If you don't have a website, just delete it. If you do have a website, then you'll probably know how to set it up yourself. So, once you're on this screen, you're on your DNS zone file. You've got a whole bunch of options here. You've got type A, C name, MX, TXT, SPF, AAANS, SRV, LOCK. They're all different things. We're going to be focusing on just three today. We're going to be focusing on A records, C name records, and SRV records. With these three different records, you can basically do anything on the internet. For an example, if I did have a website, and my website IP was 127.0.0.1, I could write www in an A record, click add. Now when everyone, whenever someone typed www.mydomain.com into their URL, It'll direct them to that IP and they would see my website. Very simple, right guys? So you can do that exact same thing, but with your Minecraft server. So for example, if I want them to connect at mc.contentrewards.com, I would enter mc in here, and then I would write my server IP. So 19 whatever, dot that, dot this, dot that. And then I would click add. Bam! Now whenever someone, um, I'll bring up a little, I'll type it in up here actually. We'll delete this. So now if someone ever connects to mc.contentrewards.com, that would now direct them to that IP and they would connect to my server. A records, can't get much simpler than that. You enter the name, you gotta pretend the domain's automatically added onto the end of it. As you see there, you just gotta add .contentrewards.com and that would work. That would connect to my Minecraft server. Now for the harder records, we've got C name. And what C name would be, it's like a domain name before a domain name. So it's kind of the same thing, but it's pointing to a domain instead of an IP. So we would point it to, like, just say, hagecraft.com. Or we would point it to mc.hagecraft.com. Oh, 
mc.hagecraft.com and we might point this like to MC. Click add and basically what that'll do Oh what? Already exists with that host. What is that? Jumbo magic. What if I add that? An AA or CNA record would exist. Oh, that's because I used MC there. So we could put a 2 there and then we could put hub there. My bad. You obviously can't have MC pointing to two different places. Because then if someone typed in MC, it would point to this IP and it would point to that domain. So it makes perfect sense there. That was a new mistake by me. So I'm just going to add MC2 there. Click add. And what this will do is that will redirect it if someone types in mc2.contentrewards.com. It'll send them to hub.hagecraft.com. So if someone tried to connect to this IP right here, if they type that in Minecraft, it'll take them to hub.hagecraft.com. Very simple, A, eh? records, go to IPs, C name, goes to domains. Now for the hard bit. If you have a port on the end of your server, which a lot of people do, I know the customers over at hagesolutions.com or Redstone Machines, who are asking for this tutorial, the main reason why I'm making it, which you should definitely check out in the comment section below, if you are looking for a dedicated VPS or Minecraft server, um, they have ports on the end because they're all on the same machine, so the only way to differentiate them between the other servers is to add a port on the end. So everyone has a port, and this is why they need this tutorial, and this is why this tutorial is so good. SRV records. What you want to do is you want to do underscore Minecraft. You want to use the protocol TCP, and the name right here is the same as what we're doing here. So we want them to connect with play dot content rewards dot com so we'll enter play in there priority it's best just to do one for all if you want to mess around with that you can the port that would be the port to your minecraft server so two five five six seven or your port might be two five five six eight two five six nine it could be whatever basically so just check the port on the end of your server if you're with redstone machines or head solutions it'll tell you when you log into your client and you can also see it when you go to the end of your domain, like whatever you're connecting with at the end there, that end bit there, not the two dots, is your port basically. So you want to copy that port, paste it in there, and then here you want to actually use, you want to point it to an A record. So for us, we want to do mc.contentrewards.com. And then when we click add, it's basically, what it's doing is where it says name, this is play.contentrewards.com. When someone types in that IP, it is sending them to mc.contentrewards.com. And mc.contentrewards.com, right here, is sending them to this IP address. So that way, it adds the port onto this IP, and it will let you connect with no problems whatsoever. Hopefully you understood that. I know it is a little bit confusing, but... That's basically how it works. A records, you write the name, it points to the IPs. C name, you write the name, it points you to another domain. And SRV, you enter exactly like that. I believe TeamSpeak 3 is TS3 up here. That might work as well. You're going to have to check with the service. You can, also, you can always Google it. Just Google SRV record um, service name for TeamSpeak. SRV record for Minecraft, etc, etc. But underscore Minecraft... TCP, play, another thing you've got to remember is this is, even though it just says play there, really it's play.contentrewards.com. you just got to always assume that it's the whole thing. Whenever it says name, it means your whole IP. You're just changing the start of it. Because as I said, you can always change the first little bit before the dot, but you can't change what's after it. So that's the name bit right at the start there. I think that's pretty much it. Click save. That's working exactly as attended. People can join mc.contentrewards.com to go to that IP. But if your server's on a port, you have to use the port there and just redirect it to the A record. I think that's it. I talked way too much there. If you have any questions, make sure to post in the comment section below. Don't forget, you can use this for any type of server on the internet. And please check out my Minecraft server hosting company, redstonemachines.com. It'll be up on screen now and in the description. If you want a cheap Minecraft server, they're only for a few bucks. I've been smashing out tutorials teaching you how to manage your server, how to get domains, how to set up plugins, how to make a faction server, prison server. I'll have all those tutorials up in no time. 
So buy your server now, start having some fun, invite your friends. It is definitely worth it, guys. Cloudflare.com, every other link you'll need is in the description. Thank you so much, like the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!